Well, one way to really make your RV feel and sound like home is to upgrade your audio and video components. And if you enjoy watching movies and listening to music like we do, you might also want to install an inexpensive sound system. Well, we're going to show you the upgrades we've made to our RV's audio and video components, and you know, maybe it'll just give you some ideas for your own DIY project. Today I wanted to show you some upgrades that we've done on the inside of our RV. You know, we've owned this for uh, about eight years now and, uh, you know, you guys know the technology today, especially with uh, TVs and audio systems, you know, they've really come down in price and they've advanced quite a bit since, uh, you know, at least since we bought this RV. I mean, we still had a tube TV, so, you know, we've done some upgrades as you can imagine over the years. I'm going to start back here in the bedroom and show you what we've done back here. When we first got the RV, there was a 13-inch uh, little tube TV mounted back in here in this cabinet. So, you know, nice for watching TV back here in the rear in the bedroom. Um, but, you know, eventually it just really got hard to see, and obviously it's a tube TV, and after a few years it's like, who still had a tube TV? We did. <laughs> so um, I wanted to swap this out with a nice uh, LED or LCD screen, and I did this a few years ago. And I like the fact that it was in this cabinet here, and I wanted to find something that, you know, I could still keep inside the cabinet, but provided a nicer display, you know, an HD quality display, so we can watch movies in bed. And um, I realized that, there, you know, if this cabinet here on the side had a panel, and if I just removed the panel, I could get to the back of the TV and remove it. And what I found is that there is actually a lot of space here once I got that tube TV out. So there was a, uh, a piece of paneling that, let me put this down here, that kind of covered this whole area to kind of hide the tube TV. So I removed that and there's this big open space back here. I went out and got a, um, you know, a flat screen TV that would fit and I ended up going with a 22 inch, got as big as I, I could get and it kind of, you know, fills the hole pretty well. So the key to this is basically mounting the TV so that I could view it nicely from bed, which meant I needed to angle it down a little bit. So I kind of laid in bed, kind of went through a few adjustments to get it just right. I took some one, some two by twos and um, screwed them into the, the cabinet here and made this bracket. I don't know if you can kind of see it back there, but I got a standard mounting bracket and I mounted it to a piece of wood at the top here and um, mounted the TV to it so it was nice and secure. Okay, so let's talk about audio. Once I got this, uh, this new TV in here, you know, the video quality looked really nice. You could see it nicely from the bed. But, you know, in order to watch movies back here, you know, you, it has these two little speakers up front. You really had to kind of jack the volume all the way up, you know, to kind of hear it. And then you can kind of hear it everywhere. So I wanted to uh, come up with another solution that allowed us to kind of have really good, you know, audio quality while we're laying in bed. I was able to run some speaker wire all the way from the TV and I wanted it to be hidden so I ran it all the way underneath the coach, I mean through the wall, underneath the coach and up to the other side here and I was able to locate the, uh, the wires that went to those speakers above the bed and uh, wire them to this little amp. Now I needed some kind of amplifier because uh, you know, there's no amplification coming out of the TV speakers and it's really low. So I needed something to power those speakers. So I found this little amplifier for under 20 bucks on Amazon 
but it you know it's enough to do the trick just to give me enough power and wired you know these speaker outputs here to go now to those speakers up there so when I want to watch a movie I simply switch this on and now I get some awesome <laughs> audio from my movie right above our head in the bed okay well that's a quick look at what we did back here in the bedroom now let's head up front and we'll show you kind of our uh, makeshift uh, home theater set up in the front Okay, now in the front of the RV here, we have this nice little TV cabinet that came with the RV in, and it originally had a, um, a Jensen 12-volt, uh, so DC-powered uh, TV that sat in there, and it has this nice little, you know, nice little electronic um, swing arm on it that kind of swings the TV in and out. And, uh, you know, we decided not to upgrade to another 12-volt TV. I just didn't want to spend the money. Plus, now that I have, uh, you know, I have an inverter, I don't really need uh, a DC-powered TV. So I can just run an AC TV, you know, for less money uh, on the inverter. I found a TV that I wanted to maximize this size and get the biggest TV I could for this spot. And I found this uh, LED smart TV. It's a Vizio that it's a 32-inch TV that I could mount on the outside of this cabinet as opposed to the inside. So it was a bit of a challenge because I had to find a way to mount it to the existing motorized arm, but the arm was actually designed for the TV to be inset within the cabinet. So here's what I did. I had to find a way to extend the mounting so I could push the TV out about, you know, four or five inches. So it'd be outside the cabinet because this is an L-shaped, kind of an L-shaped uh, uh, thing here. So it, uh, you know, it's designed to have the TV sit within this frame. So I found this little extender, this little mount uh, extension on Amazon, you know, for about $19. And, uh, you know, it's adjustable. You can see it, it adjusts in a bunch of different directions, up, down, and it actually can swivel back and forth uh, so it worked out perfectly I got it adjusted I had to drill an extra hole just to kind of get it lined up just right so as I close it it um, you know it puts just enough pressure on the uh, TV so it keeps it really nice and snug I put these little rubber uh, stopper little bumper thingies here on strategic places so that when it snugs up against the uh, cabinet wall here it's nice and snug and it doesn't move around or um, you know vibrate when I'm going down the road so that has worked really well there's one there you see one up here at the top and a couple on the other side as well the surround sound system sounds really awesome in here are you listening damn comes with a subwoofer and uh, you know five surround sound speakers so it's basically just running speaker wire running the wires through the cabinets to put them in the right place so you can see under the uh, TV there is where the center channel is um, kind of a right and left channel located up here and the subwoofer I ended up putting the subwoofer underneath my couch so here's the the uh, left rear speaker and in the kitchen area and then on the other side here is the right rear speaker so you can't really see any wires because they're all kind of tucked away inside the cupboards you might have to drill a couple of holes but bottom line is it sounds awesome whether you're watching a movie or whether you're um, just listening to music it sounds great ready to watch a movie I'm ready what are we watching well Top Gun again yeah, I like Top Gun. Oh, you want to be Maverick or Goose? Maverick, of course. Goose doesn't make it. Yeah, I know, but all right. All right, Mav. All right, Goose. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> this is how all couples watch movies. So what movie are we watching? We're gonna watch Top Gun. Okay. All right. You want to be Maverick or Goose? <laughs> I don't want to be sitting like this. <laughs> all right. All right. Do some of that flying shit, man. <laughs> Enjoying a movie. <laughs> 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 <laughs>